Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of our Total War Warhammer 2 Lizardmen campaign. This might actually be the last episode. We'll see how much we get done. Uh, but we're only 10 turns away from completing this ritual, and if we can pull it off, then uh, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Now, with that said, uh, there are some things here to kind of bear in mind. So I think... I mean, we've got all these Skaven hordes here. Mazda, or no, this is actually Krokgar. This isn't Mazda Mundi. How tough is Krokgar? I mean, a lot of these armies are kind of isolated. I can't get to all of them. Um, I might be able to get to this one. And if we do that, what's the garrison look like here? Not great, but this city does have walls. I mean, Krokgar's an ambush stance. You know what? I think we're going to go for it. We're going to attack this Skaven army. We get help from the garrison. We're just going to auto-resolve it. Unfortunately, I lost a unit of chameleons, or a, a unit of Saurus warriors in the process. Probably should have fought that manually. Um, then the question is, do we go for all of these guys? Or do we retreat back into the city? Because if we retreat back into the city, we're gonna have a lot of enemies to deal with. Like, because they're all gonna, they're all gonna attack us at once. On the other hand, if I attack him, I'll have two Skaven armies to beat up. This one's actually in poor health. Oh, that's the one we just destroyed. So if I can take Krokgar's army over here, I mean, basically, I'm just trying to do as much damage to these guys as I possibly can. So this one... Wow. The, <laughs> the reinforcements don't even change the auto-resolve at all. That's all right. Uh, okay, so missile resistance, let's put that onto here. And what we're going to try to do, I think, is beat up this army as badly as we can and then retreat. That's kind of our plan. They've got a Plague Claw. They do have some Storm Vermin, a couple of Death Runners. I mean, as long as I can take out the Plague Claw, Krokgar can just wipe out the rest of this army basically by himself. And I've got a lot of big, strong, nasty dinosaurs. So uh, we'll see if we can get this done. The reinforcements are coming in directly from behind, but the reinforcements really aren't anything I'm concerned about. So let's give ourselves a big line of Saurus Warriors right here. We got three chameleon skinks. I'm going to put them kind of over here. I want them kind of off in the woods so I can bring them in from the side. We've got some pterodon riders that I can vanguard deploy as well. I'll put them in the woods. Uh, put our croxagors. We got three units of these guys. I'm going to put them up on this side so they can get a downhill charge into the enemy. And then we've got our ancient stegodon, crocgar. And a couple of chameleon skinks, or a couple of uh, skink chiefs on stegodons as well. So I think that'll be good. They're <laughs> they're deploying all the way back there, which actually stinks for me because it means that I'm going to have to charge these guys up across a pretty significant distance. Uh, did they have? I I feel like they had some night uh, some. Uh, not just death runners, but I feel like they had some uh, some skirmish infantry as well. That plague claw catapult is going to be a, a huge issue for me. But we're going to start moving our guys as quickly as we can. Let's just fast forward a little bit, and we're just actually going to start charging Krotgar in. Let's see what we got over here. Do a little bit of scouting. They got some storm vermin. They do have some gutter runner slingers. Death Globe Bombardiers. Yeah, they got some nasty stuff. Looks like they're all blobbed up real nicely right over here, though. We can get a good uh, swing back that way. Drop rocks. There we go. That did some work. Let's pull our uh, Chameleon Skinks out. And we're going to get Krotgar charging up and at stuff. We've also got our Stegodons and all this kind of good stuff coming up as well. Krokgar's under attack. Krokgar can hold his own, though. I'm not concerned about Krokgar's health at the moment. He'll be fine. All right, let's bring the Chameleon Skinks up a little bit. Bring the Stegodons back. See if we can get them shooting at that uh, Plague Claw Catapult. 
Croxagor start charging up. Let's get these guys going. We want to get our dinosaurs into battle. Uh, I would really like to kill this Doom Wheel if we can. Preferably sooner rather than later. What did the... Oh, those are Death Runners. That's a bad... That's a very bad matchup for uh, this Skink Chief. I want to get him out of there. Come on, guys. Get up there. Krotgar is actually taking quite a lot of damage. Let's do that and see if we can pull him out. Pop the explosion. Come on, Krotgar. You can do it, buddy. You're taking a little more damage than I would like. There we go. He's free. Well, he's almost free. I want to pull him back into our lines. There we go. All right, now he's free. And he's faster than just about anything that the uh, Skaven can throw at me. So he'll be fine. So let's kind of pull him back over here. These Croxagors, you guys need to be in this fight. Uh, Chameleon Skinks. Shoot at the help it. Take out the help. Actually, uh, you guys, come back here. Okay, we got magic and stuff. I'm going to use um, Cold-Blooded on Krotgar. Since he's not in combat right now, that's probably a good idea. Let's get some Croxagors charging over there. Get our Chameleon Skinks moving up over here. What are What's in with you? Ah, the Doom Wheel. All right, Krotgar, take care of the Doom Wheel, will you? Get these Saurus Warriors up here. See if we can take out a Rat Ogre or two. Yeah, you're there. What do you got? Charge bonus. That's fine. Krotgar has taken out the Doom Wheel. Take out the Doom, uh, the Warp Lightning Cannon. These Chameleon Skinks. Finish off this Warp Lightning Cannon. Give it one good volley. Let's get these Croxagors onto these uh, Death Globe Bombardiers if we can. There we go. All right. Get the Chameleon Skinks shooting into this blob. Our guys are kind of getting stomped right now. Like, way more than I want them to. Where is their general at? Pause for a minute. He's over here. All right, Krokgar. You need to come down here. Oh, that's not Krokgar. That's actually one of my guys. You need to get on to their general, Krokgar. And actually, if you can shoot him with Hand of the Gods real quick. Uh, I think that may have done more to my own guys than to them. Uh, kill this Hell Pit Abomination, please. Get in there. There we go. Okay, Chameleon Skinks are skirmishing with stuff. Get those guys on the Plague Claw. See if we can take out these rat ogres. There we go. A lot of their army's starting to break. Krokgar, have you managed to successfully kill their general yet? Where is he? Right here. Get on him. Take him out. I need that general dead. We still haven't won that engagement over there. Okay, chameleon skinks, come up here. We're winning this one quite handily. That's a... That's their... No, that's a... Yeah, their general's shattered. I, w I, w I want him dead. Kill him, Krokgar. You need to actually kill him. Because that, that's going to do all sorts of nasty things to their morale. Get these guys charging over. Them as well. Come on, finish this guy off. Half these guys are shattered or broken as it is. Also, kill that Plague Claw Catapult. Like, kill it, kill it. Finish it off. Is, their general is still alive? Their general is still alive. How is this dude still alive? Like, for real. This Plague Claw has six models left. Please finish them. Get after these guys. Come on. 
Krotgar, please kill their general for the 7,000th time. It's not a difficult concept. Okay, so my skinks are out of ammo. No, they're not. Oh, let's just be my, uh... There we go. That Plague Claw's almost gone. Okay, skinks. Kill those gutter runner slingers with poison. Dude, Krotgar, kill their general. How many times do I have to tell you? Give you that extra charge bonus? I mean, I suppose I could hand to the gods him. The battle is basically won at this point. This dude, he's like one hit away from death. Yeah, there we go. He's got one HP. There we go. Their general's dead. Okay, so I need you guys to come over here and kill that. Kill this warp lightning cannon, please. There we go. It's wiped out. Try and get some shots into those gutter runner slingers with poison. We took a lot more damage during that battle than I would have liked. I don't know if we're going to be able to win again. We'll see. Krotgar, swing over here. Hit these storm vermin. Try and take out as many of them as we can. The storm vermin are definitely the more threatening target. We need to deal as much damage to these guys as we can. That's probably good. Okay. Oof. Took some pretty significant losses there. But, took out a Plague Claw. I mean, we've, we've crippled two Skaven armies before they've even had a chance to move. Which is great for us. I definitely want the Replenishment. And then, Krotgar, I would really like you... Actually, if I could go into Ambush Stance, that would be great. Because then they would just ignore him. Um, but, I think... I wish I could get into Tlaxton. Let's see. Krotgar himself. What to give you? I mean... Boosting those Saurus warriors a little bit more and getting stand your ground is probably going to be the best thing. And then over here... I think we probably want to boost the speed of these guys since they've done... No, actually, you still got Gutter Fighter to get. Ah, oh, man. If I'm just a little bit farther away, I could make it. And then there's this one, too. Like, this is another situation where I think what I'm going to do... Oh, no! Ah, dang it. I was really, really hoping there that I could... Ah, oh, man. All right, so here's what we need to do. Krotgar's gonna come in here. Because he'll get some replenishment, or at least he should. I think. Um, I really wanted you... You need to be in the temple, unfortunately. Which is probably within the movement range of at least some of these guys. Well, maybe not. Mazda Mundy's up there chilling. You're fine. Skeggy's defended. So yeah, I mean we're we're as good as we can be right here. Um Actually, Krotgar can get some more blessed. Saurus warriors, and actually, we could get some more blessed, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, get some more blessed chameleon skinks as well, and I don't really need the anti-large. What I'm almost tempted to do is get rid of these four damaged ones. The downside is I don't think blessed, well, we need one Blessed Saurus Warrior for sure. Unfortunately, it doesn't get the, uh, the veterancy. 
but it does get some pretty significant... I mean, the HP is certainly better. We've got six... I mean, we could we could spawn in three more veteran... Uh, or uh, several more chameleon skinks who do very well against Skaven. I don't know if I need six of them, but they do pretty well against Skaven for sure. I mean, otherwise... We are... Well, these guys can't quite reach. Because the jungle's over there. I don't know. They might not... This guy can reach me for sure. But I think Krokgar can probably handle that army. I think what we need to do... We're going to merge as many of these guys as we can. We're going to... Disband this unit. Give me those two blessed Saurus Warriors. So now we at least have five healthy Saurus Warriors, which is something. And then I'm going to get rid of this Saurus Spear and get myself another Blessed Chameleon Skink. So I think that puts me in a better position overall if they do decide to attack me and I don't get the replenishment. And then I think it's mostly a matter of just making sure we don't get wiped out. I mean, between both of these armies, I should be able to handle most of these skinks. And I probably could afford to pull this army down there to help out as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't really see any Dark Elves coming down at me. And if I do, the Mirror Pool of Tapak has a pretty solid garrison, and Mazdamundi himself can, uh, can support. Also, I mean, the weapon strength on those Saurus Warriors is just so good. That's what makes them so tough, is their weapon strength is just absurdly strong. Two more turns and I could perform this right. I mean, none of these rights are really going to help me right now. Hmm. You know what would be great here? Walls. Don't really need any of that. I mean, I should probably... Well, no, no, no. We can, we can afford to spend a little bit of money. And then there's this settlement that I'm like, well, <laughs> whatever. Don't really care that much. Yeah, we'll just leave that one be. Okay, let's see what happens. This could go a couple of different ways. <laughs> I have a feeling Krokgar is going to get uh, ganged up on by a lot of enemies. And Krokgar himself is extremely tough, but he's kind of hurt. Uh, you know what I should have done at the end of that last battle is I should have used Cold Blood, uh, Cold Blooded to heal up Krokgar. That was kind of a stupid mistake on my part, but too late now. Okay, and yeah, whatever. Clan Pestilence. It's all yours. Take it. Sack it. I don't care. I don't even care about that pro- I don't care about any of these lower provinces anymore. They're completely unnecessary. Other than to provide me a little bit of income, but I have enough money. Yeah, you can take that one too. I didn't think I was still- I thought we had a peace treaty. Maybe, I guess not. Ah, and we've been ambushed. Weren't you in a city? How am I in a... How am I being ambushed if I was inside a city? Okay. That makes no sense, but okay. We'll do our best. We've got... I mean, none of these units are tough. Like, or, or are, um... None of my units are, like, vulnerable units. You know, in, in a lot of armies, you'll have uh, 
You'll have, like, archers or something that you really need to protect, or artillery that, you know, is super squishy and will just fall apart. That's not the case here. Like, all of the units in this army can hold their own in melee, especially against Skaven. Okay, so let's see what we got here. They're coming out of the woods over here. I, I unfortunately have no idea how many enemies I'm up against, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to form up, I mean, there's swamps right here, <laughs> which we could potentially use to our advantage. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to form our Saurus warriors up like right here, if we can. Try to get them to fight us in the swamp. My chameleon skinks are aquatic, so they can just hang out in the swamp all day long. Um, they probably have artillery somewhere, and it looks like they do have... Oh, uh-oh. Looks like they... Oh, man. Stupid camera. It looks like they do have reinforcements coming in from over here, but... The swamp will allow me to kind of keep myself defended. The problem is I'm going to have to deal with their artillery. Um, so let's put these, let's put our generals and stuff over here. Let's get our Carnosaurs down here. Croxigors are not, I feel like Croxigors should be aquatic. Like they're basically crocodiles. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. Let's get, uh. Let's see if we can get formed up over here on the other side of this swamp. Because I think that's going to be our best bet. Their artillery, if they have like a doom wheel or something, it's going to do ridiculous damage. And that is a problem. But if we can fight them in the swamp, if they can be in the swamp while we're on dry land, like we will do very well in this fight. Plus, we can get our dinosaurs kind of behind them. Start bringing my generals and stuff back. There we go. There's their uncovered hidden foes. They have a gray seer. Yeah, they got a plague claw. Where's that plague claw at? Okay, so... Chameleon skinks? We're gonna send our carnosaurs off over this way. Uh, chameleon skinks, if you could take out the warp fire thrower... Fall back a little bit. We need to take out that Plague Claw, though. Like, immediately. And these, uh... Okay, there we go. Their general has decided that he wants to hang out over here. Which is fine by me. Okay, pause for a sec. Let's go find this stupid Doom Wheel. There it is. Carnosaurs, get in there. Kill that stupid Doom Wheel. Or not the Doom Wheel, the, uh, the Plague Claw Catapult. Okay, you guys, go for it. They got a Doom Wheel in the- Ooh, they got a bunch of guys over here on our flanks shooting at me. That's a little- that's a little problematic, but not amazingly so. Okay, you get on them. My Chameleon Skink should be able to win the engagement in the swamp pretty easily. That's stupid. <laughs> have you... Have you guys not killed the Doom Wheel yet? There we go. We're it. Okay, they're, they're getting there. And it looks like they may only have one small unit of reinforcements, actually, which would be ideal for me. But we do have some issues, for sure. And what's this unit? Chameleon Skinks, they're getting wrecked. Holy cow. All right, we need to kill these Slingers. And this general needs to die. Like, straight up. They've got a lot of ranged units, unfortunately. Finish off that Plague Claw. Okay, who's running? One of my units of Chameleon Skinks? Okay, that's fine. Kill these Gutter Runners. Get on their General. You get in here, get on their General as well. 
Actually, no. Kill this Doom Wheel since they're right next to it. You can use the armor piercing. And then they've got these warp fire throwers and stuff over here as well. It's not looking super good right now, actually. Kind of getting our butts kicked. Oh, you know what, though? Pause for a minute. What I do have, I totally... And this is a huge misplay on my part. I kind of forgot that I had a Skink Priest in this army because I've been playing with Krokgar so much and we haven't. But, like, look how bunched up these guys are. That should do some nice damage. Maybe? Uh, where are you? Could you please use the spell that I asked you to use? I would appreciate that very much. There we go. That did uh, approximately nothing, considering these are all storm vermin. All right, we'll drop a comet Casador instead. That should do a little bit more work. All right, you guys get out of that. Where is their general? I don't see him. All right, let's get these guys up and into that melee fight. Looks like they used something. Oh, chain lightning. Okay. Or I use chain lighting. Wow, why am I my micro right now is so bad. Alright, dude. Kill their general. He's right here. He's almost dead. One good like set of volleys should finish him. Come on, guys. Shoot. Please. Get him. There we go. That's some that's that's doing some work now. Finish off their general. It won't take much. And once he's dead, everything else should fall apart. Come on, guys. Also, they have a bunch of these skirmishers and stuff, but they're not really bunched up. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Right here they are. Boom. That did some good work. Did we kill their general yet? Is he dead? I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that he is dead. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we have a whole other army over there to deal with. Which is not good. Okay, they're running. We can't afford to chase these gutter runners forever. So bring them back. You guys come back over here. We've got... One rampaging unit of Blessed Soros Warriors over there that's about to get killed, but there's not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Try and take out those, uh, take out these gutter runners with poison if we can. Do a little bit of damage there. Our units and our, our army's in pretty rough shape, but there's not much we can do, unfortunately. It's kind of beyond our hand. Ooh, look at how bunched up these guys are. Is our Skink Priest in this army not on? Oh, no, he's not. No wonder. So many armies, and I'm thinking that he's, uh, these are just clan rats, though, so tell you what. Um, come on. There we go. That one got him. And I'm aquatic, so in the water, I can do great things. I would love a chain lightning right about there. Come on. There we go. Right on top of all those guys. That did that did some work. That wasn't bad. All right. We need to use Arcane Conduit. My guys are so all over the place right now, and that's very problematic, but I think we'll be okay. They do have a lot of good stuff up there. Where's my Skink Priest? Um, where do they have a bunch of bunched up, lightly armored stuff? Right there. That one got some of them. Get up there. Oh, and I've got two Carnosaurs just sitting over here that I didn't... Oh, man. My micro on this game. And they're like all the way on the other side of the map, unfortunately. Come on. 
I need to be able to see the, see what's going on here. Where's my ancient Stegodon at? Right here in the middle of everything? Okay, good. That's right where I want him. Bring you over there. I think we can win this. I mean, their missile units are just tearing me to pieces right now. But we have a very healthy couple of Carnosaurs. Uh, I am going to use Cold-Blooded on myself since you're not in combat at the moment. Chameleon Skinks, get over here. What little is left of you, anyway? Get up there, get into those Gutter Runner Slingers. Croxagores, a couple of you that are left. I need you into those Gutter Runner Slingers as well. My general did heal pretty significantly from that. Try and get up here into these Warp Fire Throwers. In fact, you guys shoot at the warp fire throwers. I need arcane conduit back here pretty quick. And you are, again, way over on that end of the map. What did you get? Okay, you're not. Why are you? Get up there. Okay, who else is not doing anything? You guys. Come on out. They have a Gracier right here. If we kill this Gracier, it's done. Get on him. Kill the Gracier. If we do that, we'll break their leadership and we'll win. But that means I need you guys to kill him. Because I am losing units left and right. Yeah, take out those storm vermin. That's fine. Pull this, the, uh, these guys back. Get our Saurus warriors. Pop that. Try and boost our leadership a little bit. Keep them in the fight just a little bit longer. Is this Gracier dead? Not quite. Finish him. There we go. He's dead. Okay. That should do it, I think. And then get them into the back of this blob over here. I do have a pretty nice blob, and I do have a pretty nice wind blast, but I'm afraid to use it right there because I'll kill more of my men than I can afford to right now. We'll get our Saurus Scar Veteran charging into them. All right. Everything is shattering. We got the win. That was an ugly fight, but we'll see if I was in a city. If I was in a city and I got ambushed while I was in a city, I'm going to be a little ornery. Because they shouldn't be able to ambush you when you are inside city walls. And I'm pretty sure this dude was in a city. And I lost two units of Saurus Warriors and a unit of Chameleon Skinks, but I'll take the replenishment because I need it. I do still have two more Chameleon Skinks that I can just kind of pull out of nowhere. No, he was not in a city. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right, we'll see what we can pull out here. Maybe uh, now that I know that I have a Skink Priest, maybe we can use him to our advantage. Get these guys all blobbed up and drop like a chain lightning in there and just do massive damage. That's probably what we're going to want to do. Take our general, get him out front, since he can take just a, a massive amount of punishment. Try to get them to blob up on him. Um, I'm going to gamble that, because I need, I need more winds of magic, as much as I can get. Okay, started with a little bit better. So here's the plan. I'm going to put you guys into the forest over here. We'll put our Carnosaurs over here. Uh, our Carnosaurs can't be hidden. So let's just say if you're a big dinosaur, you're going to go right here. If you are not a big dinosaur, you're going to go into the forest. We'll put our Chameleon Skinks over here. Skink Priest. Going to need, uh, need... Skink Priest is going to need a little healing. 
but that's fine. Start moving all these guys up. Um, starting with our general, I think. Get out of the way. We'll put the Sora Scar veteran and the general together. I really wish I had a healing spell. Okay. Pull them back. Get them charging up. Basically, everything that isn't the Skink Priest needs to be charging up right now, and I need to heal this Skink Priest in a big way. So, we got a couple seconds before Cold-Blooded. There we go. Get on him. Get into that blob. And drop a Chain Lightning right there. There we go. That should do some work. And then give me a Wind Blast right there. That did some work as well. And now cold-blooded on you. Cold-blooded on my general. Uh, pause for a minute. What units does this guy have? Ward save is actually very good. We'll use that as well. And you will do that for a little bit more melee defense. And then I need Arcane Conduit is like, already. All right, now we're gonna bring all these guys out of the woods if we can. Man, they are so blobbed up. Just look at this blob. Keep wind blasting. Wow, this ancient Stegodon was at like full HP. Pause for a minute. What spells do I have? I have Curse of the Midnight Wind. That lowers armor and melee attack? I mean, yeah. We'll pop it there. Heal up the Skink Chief. Or the Skink Priest. I need it. Get these guys shooting in. Some of my... Yeah, my Ancient Stegodon's running. Which is not surprising, but that's okay. I am, unfortunately, pretty much out of Winds of Magic. Which is not an ideal situation for me to be in, but... There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Pause for a minute. Is there any chance... Is there General in the middle of all this? He is. You guys could kill the General. That would be lovely. What I really need is another Chain Lightning. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit here. Uh, actually, let's keep our Stegadon back a bit. I got another Wind Blast. I could use that. I mean, but really, this is like a perfect Chain Lightning blob. Keep that Ward save going there. Are we killing their general? Because we really should be killing their general. And you guys should be charging in over there. Where's uh, Skink? Come on. Couple more seconds till we have Arcane Conduit. And in just a second, I'll have another Chain Lightning. At least that's my hope. Because if we can get one and drop a Chain Lightning. Yeah, there we go. Chain Lightning right in the middle of that big old blob. Boom. That's gonna hurt. That's just wrecking these units. Which is exactly what we needed. Now a lot of these guys are routing. They're running away. We need to get guys chasing after them. Or they're all gonna come charging right back. So get after them. Their army is pretty much broken at this point. Uh, they do have a couple of artillery pieces up there that I can't really do a whole lot about. Yeah, look at them all. Now they're coming back. 
Or trying to, anyway. Also realize I got Croxagores over here that I didn't actually send into the fight. Once again, stupidity on my part. Get in there. Get on him. I still don't know where their general is. Is he dead? I don't remember seeing a gen. Oh, no, no, he's he's over here. Okay. So you guys get after that gray seer if we can. Do I have a cold blooded left? Doesn't look like it. I got a couple guys blobbed up over here. Carnosaur, get on there, Gracier, if we can. Uh, Skink does not want to be in the middle of all these Plague Monk sensor bearers. No, thank you. Please. It's not where I want to be. Got a couple of rampaging, uh, all sorts of rampaging stuff over there, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about it. Ah, uh, I lost my ancient Stegodon. Okay. That's fine. Clan rats. Oh, their general's right in the middle of all these guys. Okay, I see. So you... I don't suppose... Nope. Not enough range. What are these, clan rats? One good wind blast right there should finish them off. Yep. And it did. Okay, send forth the blob. Get over here. Keep popping Arcane Conduit. We can drop another big spell in right here. Even just a Wind Blast, like right in here, would be huge. Get all these guys charging in. I think we can actually win this. Miraculously. Come on. A lot of these guys are getting surrounded. Seven for a wind blast. Okay. We're close. A couple more seconds and we should have it. Let's get up here to help provide that leadership. I'll bring you up. There we go. Give me a wind blast right there. Boom. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Just look at that morale drop. Like a rock. We got him. Whew. Lost an ancient Stegodon in the process. But we won another one. And that's the important thing. All right. Pause for a sec. First of all, is there any artillery that we can potentially get to? I don't think there's much. I think it's pretty much just going to be kill whatever we can. Uh, definitely see if we can take out those Plague Monk sensor bearers. And I don't think I have any cold-blooded charges left either. May I might have one on the Saurus Warrior, but he's uh, rampaging, so I can't control him at all. Plague Monk sensor bearers. Yeah, let's just fast forward a bit. If we can, I'd like to heal with him, but I don't think, uh, he, I mean, he's he's been rampaging, like, the entire battle, so I don't think that's going to happen. I just want to see if I get control of him again. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's going to run around, kill all these guys, which is fine. I'm glad he's running around killing things, but it'd be great if you could uh, stop rampaging. Pretty please. I'm pretty sure you have a cold-blooded charge left, and I'm going to need all the HP I can get. Uh, actually, just kidding. He used it. Okay, that's fine. But we got the victory. We got the win. We lost. 
we lost our ancient stegodon. We lost all our chameleon skinks. I mean, that was a. I mean, then again, this this army just basically beat three Skaven armies by himself. So he's a champ. Yeah, apparently I did have a guy down there. Underway interception. I'm gonna decline. I cannot win that one right now. Settlement sacked. That's... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. United against us. So, Lothurn, even though we just signed a peace treaty with them. I was going to say, I didn't think we were at war with them. But yeah, even though we just signed a peace treaty with them not that long ago, they have sacked us. Uh, or they, they were invited to join by Lothurn, so figures. All right, Krakar, looks like you didn't get the replenishment that I was hoping for, but... It also looks like there are approximately two Skaven stacks that are actually in decent repair. Like, these guys are beat up really bad. These three are. It's basically this one and this one are the only two Skaven stacks left. And this one's about to get wrecked. Um, we will fight this underground. <clears throat> Should be able to win this easily. One for one. I don't know if there's a Skaven army that I will ever see in this campaign that can take on a well-made Lizardman army. A player? Sure. But the way that the AI builds armies? I don't think so. Not when we have essentially unlimited funds. Like, the, we're, we're going to crush these guys. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay, so the priority does need to be the Plague Claw Catapults, because they are going to exist. Uh, we're going to have some Chameleon Skinks. I'm going to put them right here, because I want to be able to see what's over. Actually, can I just, like, uh, will I be able to see if we... Yeah, there we go. I can see them up there on the hill. So if I just chill here, where I can see them... That'll help. Let's take a look at their deployment. What do they got? Plague Claw, Warp Lightning Cannon, Doom Wheel back here. Yeah, about what I figured. They're going to hide all the way back so that they can shoot at my artillery for essentially as long as they want to. But that's okay. Okay, so we'll get these guys up here. Let's put our Croxigors. Uh, oh, I only have... Oh, no, I, I was going to say, I thought I had two Croxigors. And I do. Let's spread these guys out a little bit. Get, uh, we'll put our feral carnosaurs over there. We do have a revivification crystal. Which means we'll be able to heal up our general. And we have a skink priest who is not on a dinosaur. We need to remember that he is not on a dinosaur. And it looks like our general is riding on a cold one. Not a carnosaur. And that's fine. There we go. We are hidden. They can't see us. So let's start moving to about here. And we'll just kind of speed everything up. They can't see us right now, like at all. Let's just kind of get up here a little bit more. These guys are invisible since they have stock. Uh, and actually, let's hard group those guys. So we'll kind of make our formation right here. Just form up a little bit. Maybe bump that up just a tiny bit more. We're hiding behind the hill at the moment, so they can't see us. So there we go. Hard group. So we stay t in formation as we advance. And let's get going. We're going to come into sight pretty soon for him. Yep, there it is. Get the chameleon skinks moving up to harass a little bit. We can unpause. What's our range looking like? Eh, not too bad. Looks like they're moving their 
artillery instead of shooting it. That's kind of a stupid move on the AA's part. I'd be shooting all day right now. Let's see if we can shoot these rat ogres down with a good volley. Let's do some damage to them, and then just pull these guys back. Just, just harass. Okay. Now, uh, let's go slow-mo. Okay. So let's start choosing targets for these guys. Get these guys charging in. Get our Carnosaurs over there. Bring up our general and stuff. We'll post you guys up right here. Ancient Stegodon over here. Uh, probably not in the Plague Monk Sensor Bearers. That's just not a good idea. All right, there we go. Pull our Chameleon Skinks back up. Start shooting at these Death Runners because they're lightly armored. Okay, there we go. The battle is joined, as is to be expected. Okay, Croc, uh, let's see, Croxagors, where do I want you? Probably over here. We got Storm Vermin over there. Dude, actually, Croxagors, get on the Doom Wheel. That Doom Wheel will rip me to pieces. Okay. Get on the Warp Lightning Cannon. This Carnosaur needs to not be fighting over here. You need to be over here dealing with this uh, Plague Claw Catapult. Otherwise, that thing's going to rip me to shreds. Okay. Um, bring you guys over that way. Form up, like, right over here. Where's their general at? Right here. There we go. Please kill their general. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, and let's see. Oh, look at that blob. That's a beautiful spot for a chain lightning. Boom. Lovely. And unfortunately, I can't use the revivification crystal on myself. So I will use it on these croxagords if I can. Actually, no, that's a terrible plan. Skink. Let's use a Wind Blast right there. What are you guys getting shot by? That Plague Claw? Why is the Plague Claw still online? Carnosaur, you had one job. And that was disable the Plague Claw catapult. That's all I needed you to do. Did you listen? No. No, you didn't. Why did you not listen? I have no idea, but you didn't. I'm very disappointed in you. Okay, we do have this revivification crystal. Let's be healing up some of our stuff. Where are you at? Over here? Let's see. Actually, heal up those Saurus warriors a little bit. Let's drop a wind blast right there. Come on. No? No wind blast? Too far away, I guess. Ah, there it is. All right, there we go. Got a little bit of damage done there. And we caught them underground? No, we didn't. They were in underway stance. So I didn't... I don't know if that counts as an underway interception or not. But either way, we won that battle. Uh, you, cold-blooded. You, cold-blooded. Uh, Revivification Crystal still has 26 seconds left. I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. Like, if we can get that Revivification Crystal again, I'm going to continue using it as much as I possibly can. It's basically like a Invocation of Nehek. It's like a, a, a relatively small heal, but not like super small. Like, it can add up. And for healing, like, larger units... Some of these other units that, uh, you know, like smaller stuff, Croxagore, stuff like that, could actually be very good for us. Bring these guys over here. Try to heal up these Croxagores a little bit. And use all the replenishment we can get. That's good enough. Yeah, we did all right. 
We did all right. I think that will disable this army. Like, I think this army will be destroyed now. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to take the replenishment. No, they do get to run away. Ah, I was really hoping they wouldn't. Oh, well. Um... Oh, I have just enough to go into ambush stance. That's actually great for me. Not and that army is not quite as broken as I would like it to be. And this is a very full army. This is also Krokgar's army, though. Uh, I'm going to decline the attack just for now. But we will probably fight that very shortly. Okay, what do you got? Down, I've already maxed out stand your ground. Let's go fervent, ancient cunning, and draft master because I'd like to get uh, recruitment for him or uh, replenishment for him if possible. And then you boost up your speed a bit since you are on a uh, carnosaur as a mount, which is sweet. No, you failed, failed. If we can win this fight, we'll take out both these armies because they're both in force march stance. And our army's pretty battered. But I think we can win this. Like, their army's pretty battered, too. Let's go for it. And we have a couple... We have a very, you know, two strong Carnosaurs. We do have our Skink Priest. Our, our uh, Saurus Old Blood and our Saurus Scar Veteran are both in relatively good health. I think we got a better chance than they that are giving us credit for. Even if our army is a little beat up. Alright, and it looks like their reinforcements are going to come in from over there. Uh, let's gamble. Start the deployment. Do you have our king conduit? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to have to be relatively smart with this. I'm assuming that they're probably going to form up over there and try to uh, take advantage of their reinforcements coming in. So maybe what I should do is I should actually come over here and try to intercept their reinforcements. That could be fun. We'll do that. And then we put these guys over here. Start the battle. Pause. You guys start uh, moving up. I don't remember exactly where those reinforcements were coming in. It was like somewhere over there. But we'll start moving that direction. Looks like these guys are all in the woods. Okay. So let's get them charging over here. Let's look at these... Units in the woods. They got a plague claw catapult and a doom wheel. Yeah, they're all they're all up in the woods over there. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna try to intercept their reinforcements with the main bit of our army. Not Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So you guys come up over here. Kill this stuff. Just, just get up and kill stuff. Okay. And then you guys. Oh, they see me. Okay. First things first. Gracier. Kill their general. Get my skink priest up there as well. Get my general up here. These guys will support a little bit. Maybe not a lot, but... Uh, bring the skink priests over here to kill this plague claw. And these guys are probably going to blob up. Oh, wow. Their general is just getting absolutely stomped, which is, to be fair, exactly what I want. Get over here. Charge bonus. That one. That one. Finish him. That was quite a hit. Dude, if we can kill their general this quickly, stay on him. Make sure he does not survive. If we can do that, 
then I'll be feeling pretty good about our odds here. Let's go check on these guys. Okay. Well, we're taking out their Plague Claws. You guys pivot and get up here. Looks like they got some Warp Fire Throwers and stuff. Let's shift one unit of Croxagores to go deal with that. Okay, I think that's all of them. I mean, we... <laughs> These guys didn't really have a whole lot of uh, opportunity to move or anything. We pretty much just stomped all of them. All right, bring these guys back. They got some storm vermin over here up against my feral carnosaur. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, however, one thing that will solve that quite nicely is a beautiful comet of Castor right in the middle of them. Wait for it. Boom! That did some good work. Rip storm vermin. Come on, guys. Get over here. Okay, those guys are falling apart. Gutter runners are falling apart as well. This plague claw is online at the moment, which is not okay. And apparently there was like no damage from that whatsoever. Okay. I don't necessarily think that's correct, but... Uh, you know, we don't need three dinosaurs to take out one warp fire thrower. That's just overkill. What I do need is these chameleon skinks to fall back a little bit so we can finish off some of these gutter runners. Oh, wow, did you see the damage on that? That was absurd and beautiful. Why is this plague claw still online? Like, seriously? Guys, I didn't give you many jobs. I gave you very few jobs, in fact. And yet, the one job that I did give you... Okay, they're all over there. Yep, 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 yep. Pull back, pull back. Finish off these Poison Wing Globadiers. We don't want to go over into that big mess of stuff without support. It's just a bad... A bad plan. They got a Warp Fire Throw over here. That thing needs to go. Kill the Warp Fire Thrower, please. You guys get up here and into these Poison Wing Globadiers. Okay, you guys... What am I dealing with right here? Gutter Runners? Okay, fine. Storm Vermin over there. You get on them. That's Gutter Runner Slingers with Poison. My, honestly, my Chameleon Skink should probably be able to handle these guys fairly easily. Got some Clan Rats over here that are eh, moderately bunched up. Bunched up enough. For a decent little wind blast right there. There we go. That ought to do it. <laughs> Can't really see what half of the stuff is happening here, but... What are you, Carnosaur? Yep. Come over here and get on them. You're also a Carnosaur. Get on them. Finish off this... Dude, this Plague Claw is still alive after all this time. What did I tell you about that? What are you, Source Warriors? Yeah, we need... to kill that. What's over here at the moment? Croxagores, I need you up here into this. Honestly, I need all of you guys up here into this dog pile. Gutter Runner Slingers, Clan Rats, Clan Rats, Storm Vermin. Uh, I'm not going to use my magic. Let's bring uh, Skink over there to support. Or my Skink Chief. Okay, you're chasing them. You can come over here. Get them. Yeah, and now these guys are rallying, because of course they are. 
all right. We can handle that. How are you guys doing? You're doing fine. Get up here and into all of these guys. What are you, Croxagors? Croxagors, I need you into the back of these Plague Monk Sensor Bears. Actually, I would love for you to kill the Gray Seer. That would just make me very happy. Because if the Gray Seer dies, then everything else will rout. Send one unit of Croxagors into the back of these guys. There we go. Everything's shattering now. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. And... Cold-blooded? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure... Yeah, he's over here. But that's fine. We can heal up some of these units at least a little bit. Via cold-blooded. And then we'll just end the battle. But I mean, if we can put a, you know, a couple hundred, even a couple thousand hit points back on that Carnosaur, that could be very significant. Oof. Lots of battles. Not a lot of turns, but lots of battles. I'll take my replenishment, thank you. And I will also take the end of those Skaven armies, thank you. So basically, at this point, the only thing we need to win is this fight with Krokgar. And then I think that's pretty much all the Skaven armies. I mean, I still have this... This guy. And I'll just chase after him. Oh, actually, even better. I can just catch him right now. I didn't think I could. But we'll finish him off as well. And then we've got this Saurus Old Blood. Give me the Gifts of the Jungle, please, for more... Uh, replenishment. That would be lovely. And my Skink Priest. Hmm. Stegadon at level 15, so let's put Skink Priest on a Pterodon. The next level up, you can have your Stegadon, which will make her, or him, or it, or whatever. I'm not really sure what gender <laughs> the Skinks are. I don't know. Either way, you take your Replenishment. I really feel like Krokgar should be able to win this. I mean, I got a pretty healthy army. And I have a garrison. The, the garrison's in rough shape, but they're there. I mean, there's there's still extra units. Krokgar should be able to take out one of these armies, at least. And this one... I mean, there's a lot of clan rats in here. And clan rats are trashed here. Gutter runners are not that great either. Like, there's a lot of low-tier units in this army. Yeah, they got a Plague Claw. Yeah, they got a Doom Wheel. But nothing I'm overly concerned about. And then this army's pretty busted apart already. So I think we can win that. We managed to advance one turn, though. And unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. So it appears this is not the last episode. Looks like the next one, maybe. Or maybe the one after that. I don't know. We'll see. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.